Hi everyone, I am Omkar Vajne uh, from group 2. Our group members will explain the concepts of Bootsh algorithm. Uh, so let's start the video. Hello everyone, so as we this side, today I would like to talk about Bootsh algorithm, a fast efficient method for multiplying two binary digits. The algorithm was developed by Andrew Donald Booth in 1951 and since become a cornerstone of modern computer arithmetic. One of the advantages of both algorithms is that it reduces the number of arithmetic operations required to perform a multiplication. For example, let's say we want to multiply the binary numbers 1011 and 0101 using the standard multiplication method. We would need to perform 4 multiplication and 3 addition. In contrast, using Booth's algorithm, we can accomplish the same result with just 2 Booth's operation and 1 addition. Booth's algorithm is a powerful technique for multiplying binary numbers that has a great significant impact on computer arithmetic. Now coming on to two's complement, there is a simple algorithm to convert a binary number into two's complement. To get two complement of a binary number, simply invert the given number and add one to the least significant weight of the given result. Hi everyone, I am Ukar Bojne. I am explaining the flowchart of Boots algorithm. In flowchart, uh, we are starting the algorithm and next is declaring uh, some variables. Uh, in which is a accumulator which is initially taken as 0 q minus 1 is one of the bit which is initially taken as 0 m is a multiplicand and q is a multiplier and a counter uh, which is the number of bits in the a string of multiplier or a multiplicand and next is checking some conditions on a, a q naught and q q minus 1 uh, in next slide i will explaining q naught and q minus 1 if the value of q naught and q minus 1 is 1 1 or a zero zero, we are doing arithmetic right shifter and decrementing count by one. If the value of q naught q minus one is one zero, we are subtracting multiplicand from accumulator and doing arithmetic right shifter and decrementing count by one. And if the value of q naught q minus one is zero one, we are adding multiplicand to accumulator and doing arithmetic right shifter and decrement count by one. And if the count is equal to zero, we are ending the program. Else, count is not equal to zero. We are repeating this process again and again. Uh, let's understand q minus one from this example here. Uh, three taken as a multiplier in binary. Uh, it is represented as a zero zero one one. Here, bits of uh, uh, three are represented as a q naught, q one, q two, and q three. Here, q minus one declared before q naught, uh, uh, which is initially taken as a zero. After arithmetic shift, uh, q minus one will be changed, uh, and for that change, we can take uh, q minus 1 and uh, q naught values. Hello everyone, my name is Sai and I am going to explain the working of Booth's algorithm. That is a set of multiplicand and the multiplier binary bits by m and q respectively. And initially we set the ac and qn plus 1 registered value to 0 that we are already seen in that flow chart that ac represent the number of multiplier bits uh, q and it is a sequence control that is continuously discriminating till equal to number of bits that means it is decreasing up to zero and it uh, reached to the zero q uh, q n represent the last bit of q and q n plus one shows the incremented bit of q n by one hello everyone i am darshan bokre now we will see the example of Booth's algorithm. That is, uh, first question is multiply 7 into 3. Here 7 is multiplicand, that is denoted as m. 3 is multiplier, denoted as q. a equal to 0 and q minus 1 is equal to 0. Uh, here in the binary, a is 0, 0, 0, 0. Q is 0, 0, 1, 1, that is 3. M is 0, triple 1, that is 7. And minus 1 according to 2's complement, that is 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, first we uh, draw the table like this. First we write uh, accumulator, that is AC, which stored a final result of this arithmetic operation. Then Q, Q, N plus 1 and cycles here we initialize ac at 0 as we say previously and q is equal to 0 0 1 1 and q plus 1 is 0 now we check a 
last digits that is q zero q is one and q n one and n plus one is zero now we have one and zero then subtract a plus minus m that is a minus m we can return as a plus minus m therefore zero 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 plus one zero zero one use answer as zero one one zero 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 and zero one one now we see the last digit and compare to the flow chart we will see that one one then perform right shift operator keep first digit as same and then right shift now we again check our last digit of the q and q n plus one that is zero and one then perform addition a plus m that is one 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 zero plus zero one 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 zero one is one 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 zero carry one 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 and one zero zero now we again check the last digits that is now zero and zero then perform arithmetic right shift operation and keep first digit same and then perform right shift and we got final answer do this step till our cycle is gets uh cycle is equal to zero we got final answer in ac zero 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 one and q zero one zero one with combining these answers we got a final answer of our question that is 7 into 3 is equal to 21 that is we can return in binary as 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 here 1 into 2 to the, 2 to the power 0 0 into 2 to the power 1 1 into 2 to the power 2 0 into 2 to the power 3 and 1 into 2 to the power 4 we got final answer at 21. So I am Ajit Vignarkar. I am explaining here the advantages of puts algorithm implementation with the flow chart. Uh, so there are my focus is the uh, in few topics is that fewer additions, faster multiplication, uh, then improved uh, hardware efficiency, then work signal with uh, sign with numbers, widely uh, widely use of uh, puts algorithm. Then the uh, first is the fewer additions. Both algorithm can reduces the number of additions required to perform a multiplication operation operation by examining the adjacent bits of the multiplant and the multiplier and only adding or subtracting the multiplant when necessary. It is a very important uh, concept. Then the faster multiplication by reducing the number of additions required. Both algorithm can perform multiplication operations more quickly than the other methods. Um, uh, then they improve hardware efficiency. Boots algorithm can be implemented using simple shift, add, subtract, multiplication, which makes it well suited or uh, for hardware imp implementations. Then the work uh, with the sign numbers. Boots algorithm can handle sign binary numbers, which is very 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 important in many applications. Uh, then the widely use use of multiple uh, boots algorithm is the uh, adopted and implemented in hardware and software is used in, uh, efficiently in many digital signal uh, processing uh, applications. Overall, both, uh, Boots algorithm is offers a several advantage over other multiplication algorithms, including faster, that is the uh, faster compu computation time, reduced hardware complexity, and the ability to handle the signed numbers. So this is, uh, this is, these are the some points which I want to uh, tell. tell you. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, I am Dishali Bhuir from Group 2, Division C. As Aditya mentioned about advantages of Booth's algorithm, there are also disadvantages of it. So let's see disadvantages of Booth's algorithm. There are few disadvantages of Booth's algorithm like complexity, limited range, etc. Let's see complexity. Booth's algorithm is more complex than other multiplication algorithms, making it difficult to implement and understand. Next is limited range of operands. Booth's algorithm is limited to signed binary numbers 
which restricts it uses in applications that require operations on other number systems. Then for small operands, both algorithm is slower than other multiplication algorithms due to the overhead of the algorithm. Both algorithm requires additional hardware to perform the shift and add operations which can increase the cost and complexity of the system. Booth's algorithm is not suitable for parallel processing as each step depends on the previous step making it difficult to implement in parallel architectures. Thank you.